Mimba hizi za mapema Jamani zimetuchoja Honorable Simon Chalugui, Cabinet Secretary for the Ministry of Labor and Social Protection. Honorable Olen Tutu, the Chief Administrative Secretary at the Ministry of Labor and Social Protection. Honorable Priscilla Nyokabi, Commissioner at the National Gender and Equality Commission. Dr. Mohamed A. Sheikh, Director General for National Council for Population Development. Dr. Richard Erlbach, Deputy De Development Director, British High Commission. Madam Sylvia Chidodo, CEC, Public Administration at Kwale County, representing His Excellency Sadi Munduria, the Governor for Kwale County. Honorable guests from civil societies in Kenya and our partners, youth advocates present, members of the press, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. How are you all feeling today? It's a pleasure to host you on this incredibly important day. My name is Janet Bugwa. I'm a media person and the founder of Inua Dada Foundation and a friend of Plan International, I might also add, joined by this incredible lady. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hope Nyokabi Mwote. I am a student at the University of Nairobi in my third year. I am also a youth talk show host and a Plan International Girl Advocate. Thank you very much. And possibly future leader of the country. Quite possibly. Amen. Majina na itare mamisi kutoka kwa le county. Niko tayari kwa hania shairi. Lenye mada, mimba hizi za mapema, jamani zime chuchosha. Na lipigia baragumu kwa hapa na wakule. Nyote mpate fahamu. Yanga hili vile vile sikili fi hata lamu Kenya nzima ni kelele Mimba hizi za mapema Yama nizi metuchosha Umekuwa ka uwele Yamani usoti bika Kila siku nyingi ndele Wazazi watabika Wasicha na chungu tele Masomo ya nachika Mimba hizi za mapema Yamani zimetu chosha Sio la sita darasa Kida tu chapili hasa Vimezidi hivi visa Kwa kupenda tu anasa Eti mwatafuta pesa Kwa kufata masiponsa Mimba hizi za mapema Nyama nizi metu chosha Umekua ni mkasa Kinya zima ya lalama Kwa kuzidi hivi visa Wachoto kuwando mama La tuchosha hili kosa Mieyo inatuma Mimba hizi za mapema Yama nizi metu chosha Wazazi watege mea Kenya na yo ya lilia Watu wali ya bobea Uangozi kukalia Sia wali ya zembea Mkia kushikilia Mimba hizi za mapema Yama nizi metu chosha Wasichana amkeni Yama nitu zindu keni Muda umewadi ya ni Muda umewadi ya ni Visa hivi kuzikani Kenya yetu kujengani Kenya iwe namba wani Miba hizi za mapema Yama nizi metu chosha History, labor and social protection Simon Chelugui Honorable Lentutu The CIS Minister of Labor Honorable Priscilla Nyokafi, Dr. Mohamed uh, Sheikh, uh, 
Director General uh, for National Council and Population, uh, Dr. Richard Ellerbach, uh, representing the British High Commission, uh, Madam Sylvia Chidodo, we really appreciate you representing Governor, His Excellency, Governor Salim Vuria, honorable guests uh, from civil society representatives here, here in Kenya, uh, youth advocates, and we've seen one of them on stage just uh, um, one minute ago, members of the press uh, present here, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my task is really very simple. Uh, it is to welcome all of you, and this includes all of us who are participating virtually in this launch. We know we have participants from around the country, from the coast, Kwale, we have Kilifi, Tana River, Nairobi, Tharaka, Machakos, Kisumu, Bondo, and Homa Bay. We also have uh, people uh, participating virtually from all over the world, our global hub in London, our national offices spread all over the world. You are all most welcome. This is really a special day for Plan, and uh, uh, we the reason you are all been invited is because we value the partnership we have with all of you and as we start this new strategy which is about ending teenage pregnancy uh, and all forms of violence against girls we want you to know that uh, you are a most appreciated uh, partner in this journey that we are just starting and uh, i don't want to say much about the strategy i know it is a bold strategy I know many of you have been involved in its uh, development, uh, but we look forward to working with you all in this journey and most welcome once again. Thank you very much. I'm pleased to join you today as you launch the Plan International Kenya Five-Year Council Strategic Plan that is from 2021 to 2026. There's such great news that adolescent girls and young women take center stage in your new country strategic plan. And I just seen from your speech, I think that's the direction that you are taking and we are very happy to be part of this. The National Council for Population and Development is a semi-autonomous government agency under the National Treasury and Planning and is mandated to promote uh, coordinate the implementation of population and development programs and policy in Kenya. NCPD is to be proud to be associated with Plan International where we have worked previously and very closely on issues of adolescent and teenage pregnancy and I trust, as you said, indeed you are a trusted partner in this endeavor. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, the most important resource of any nation is its people, and that's why NCPD is mandated to look at issues of population development. And when it comes to population, um, very paramount is adolescent and the youth. Adolescent lay the foundation for a quality population and prosperous nation, in particular the health of well-being of girls and women. As a government, although we have made progress and strides in improving the status of girls and women, Kenya is still among the countries with the highest burden of teenage pregnancy and motherhood, where one in every five teenage girls between the age of 15 and 19 is either pregnant with their first child or have given birth. This prevalence has not changed for the last decade. To give you more statistics, adolescent girls account for 14% of the births in Kenya. That is, in annual here in this country, we have 1.2 to 1.4 deliveries. And out of that, I think that's around a third of it are a girl's age between the age of 10 to 20 years. 98% of girls who have ever been pregnant are out of school, 98%. 63% of the pregnancies among adolescents in Kenya are unattended. Approximately one third of all unattended pregnancies end in abortions, and about half of all, the seven, of all severe abortions are amongst adolescent girls. The list does not stop there. About three out of 10 females of age between 18 and 24 experienced varied forms of violence in the past 12 months. Almost one in every four of girls in Kenya are married before the age of 18 years. Girls in volatile environment, homes or setups where G SBG SGPV is perpetrated are more vulnerable to abuses. For communities who cut girls aged 12 to 14 years, child marriage is the next step after the cut. Girls living in poor households are twice likely to, mar likely to marry under the age of 18 as, as girls in high income, as compared to high, as girls in high income households. The above challenges and statistics vary from rural to urban. It varies from families backgrounds, it varies from communities and cultural setups, and income levels, and it varies across all sectors. 
NCPD together with other stakeholders launched what we call the LESS Act to End Teenage Pregnancy Campaign in 2020. This campaign is part of the implementing the ICPD commitments where we committed to end teenage pregnancy by 2030 and also end harmful practices including child marriage and female genital mutilation by 2022 and ensure 100% transition. As you all are aware, in 2019 we held what we call the ICPD 25 conference which was held in Nairobi. And this conference, Kenya made commitments, 17 commitments, and those 17 commitments were more on zero maternal mortality, zero gender-based violence, and zero unmet need. So teenage pregnancy was one of the commitments. By 2030, we must end teenage pregnancy. Subsequently, NCPD has been coordinating the multisectoral stakeholders to discuss and develop solutions to address teenage pregnancy. And on this front, NCPD has coordinated formations of committees at various levels, starting with the principal secretary at national level, is chaired by the principal secretary, State Department of Planning. And also we have coordination mechanism at the county level, which is chaired by the county commissioners, where we have the technical working groups. NCPD has gone further to coordinate formation of parents and teachers associations network in the counties, and we are mobilizing resources to ensure that these networks are cascaded to the lower levels as one of the, as one of the key tasks on to end, end teenagers. And that's why Plan International, because we work with them very closely, have invited us to make remarks in this meeting. Thank you very much for inviting us to make this statement here. Thank you. NCPD with other stakeholders have developed an action plan to end teenage pregnancy. It is currently awaiting validation by well, wider stakeholders. It is envisaged that the action in this document will, be, will, be, will address these vice that we have discussed for so long. And we can only achieve this if we work as a team. This will, be, this will call for us all to create synergy so that the few resources available can go a long way in preventing and stopping this virus. In conclusion, ending teenage pregnancy can be effectively delivered through a sustained multisectoral approach that not only focuses on adolescent behavior changes, but also seeks to address the underlying economic, social, and cultural factors that translate to a pregnancy. There is need to have harmonized and coordinated a multisectoral approach and ensure mainstreaming of health, social, economic, and development issues affecting adolescent and young people that will intensify the prevention of the problem at of adolescents and youth that faces them today. Lastly, I want to congratulate Plan International Kenya for noticing the need and taking a bold step to help in ending teenage pregnancy and, forms, and all forms of violence against girls and young women. Madam Kate, I believe this move, I wish, I believe in this move, and I wish you and your stakeholders all the best. CS, uh, I'm happy that today you're here. Uh, NCPD have been coordinating this endeavor uh, and ending, end, ending teenage pregnancy. And I know you have taken a lot of effort in supporting us, and we appreciate your, your support in this endeavor. Teenage pregnancy is, is, is we consider as a developmental issue, and that's why NCPD has taken you know, the, the leading role in, in, in advising the government in ending this program, in this, in this, in this, in this menace. Why we are focused on teenage pregnancy, sir, is that look at the number of years lost for a girl who gets pregnant at the age of 10 years, 12 years, 13 years, 14 years. At the age of 14, you have, you're not going to school, you're going to drop out of school. You just get either married or you may not be married. But then you have lost the opportunity of becoming a professor, a doctor, a lawyer, whatever it is. So that's why really we are concerned and we're considering this as a developmental issue, not only as a social, cultural, uh, and other factors, but as a developmental issue. So ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, I congratulate uh, uh, Plan International really for taking these bold steps. We need to really reach out to those 2.5 million children in Kenya and prevent this menace. Thank you very much and have a good day. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure for me to be invited here today for the launch of uh, Plan International's five-year country strategy. Having listened to uh, previous speakers, I am struck that I am uh, probably the least qualified to speak on this subject and actually I've found the the speeches the energy uh, of previous speakers quite inspiring and listening to uh, women and girls stand up and speak so eloquently on this subject does much more than anything I could possibly say in the next few minutes so please, don't feel you have to listen to me. Listen to the other people and be inspired in the same way that I have been. 
Uh, ending teenage pregnancies and all forms of gender-based violence against girls and young women. That's what we're here for today. Um, as I've said, this energy, this moment to launch this plan is a wonderful moment. And as uh, previous speakers have said, it's action following this, this launch today which will make a difference to women and girls. And that's what I would like to, uh, I would like to keep our focus on what's to come. Because the UK is, is often seen as a, a champion, uh, a global leader on, um, on gender equality. But we have so much to learn from each other. The UK still has uh, a gender gap. We're currently at 77% roughly. There is not gender equality in the UK. Um, in fact, globally, there aren't many countries that can say that they have uh, achieved that. It's something that we should all be striving for. And so I'm not here to, to preach or to say that there's much for you to learn from the UK. I think it's about how we work together and create those partnerships that uh, the country director has spoken about, its partnerships which will help us achieve this goal of gender equality and address the challenges which girls face, whether it's early pregnancies, uh, teenage pregnancies or gender-based violence. COVID, we haven't spoken about it much, but it has had a huge impact and a disproportionate impact socioeconomically on women and girls. And we've seen statistics going in the wrong direction as a result of this pandemic over the last few years. What does the UK, how can the UK support Kenya and how can we work together? I just want to spend one minute on this issue of collaboration and partnerships. We've had some good examples of how we have worked together. The Global Education Summit, which uh, some of you may be aware of, uh, was held in the UK in July, and it was co-hosted between the UK and Kenya. Prime Minister Johnson, President Kenyatta, sharing a stage to, uh, to advocate for girls' education and to raise over $4 billion to support education globally. We're also co-members of the Gender-Based Violence Action Coalition, um, which aims to promote key policies and actions which will make a difference to the lives of women and girls. So those are just two examples where we work together, the UK and Kenya work together to achieve our goals with regards women, girls, and gender equality. I want to congratulate Kenya for bold commitments on gender-based violence. The President has made the public commitment to end FGM in Kenya by the end of 2022. And this is a great example for others in the region and globally. And it's an example of Kenya really taking that global stage and making a difference. Finally, I just want to return to the issue of plans, uh, strategy, country strategy. Um, and I wanted to congratulate you on your progress over the last five years. Um, it is inspiring and I commend you for the strategy going forwards. I look forward to working together with PLAN, the government of Kenya, and many other partners who are trying to make a difference uh, in this area to help girls throughout Kenya to achieve their ambitions. As I said, it is important we all learn from each other. And I think as we see progress in delivering on this country strategy, I hope that there is an opportunity for us all to learn so that the next country strategy can have an even greater impact, both here in Kenya and globally. On that note, thank you. 
Greetings from Kwale County and more so from His Excellency Governor Salim Vuria, who is a great friend of Plan International. He could not be here with us today, but in the same spirit of friendship, Kwale County is well represented. Kindly allow me to read his speech. Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Labor and Social Protection, Honorable Simon Chilogwe. Cabinet, rather, Chief Administrative Secretary, Honorable Patrick Colin Tutu. National Gender and Equality Commission, Commissioner Priscilla Nyokabi. The Deputy Development Director, British High Commission, Mr. Richard. County Director, Plan International Kenya, Ket. Dr. Mohammed from uh, the Director National Council on Population Development, distinguished guests, colleagues from Plan International, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Let me first take this opportunity to thank Plan International for inviting me to be part of yet another milestone in putting in place a country strategic plan that will enable them achieve their goals. It takes, it gives me a great pleasure and pride to join the Plan International Fraternity and all the invited guests as we launch the Plan International Country Strategic Plan 2021-2026. Having been in the organization before, I'm greatly honored to be part of this great occasion. I also wish to congratulate Plan International for their continued leadership in the advocacy of children's rights in the country. This strategic plan is in tandem with my vision for Kwale County that we need to empower girls and young people with the relevant skills leading towards less dependency and enable them realize their full potential. I do recognize the work done by Plan International in Kwale County and the country at large. They have been a key foundation on the community development interventions throughout. Ladies and gentlemen, in the spirit of upholding the rights of children, one being the right to education, my government has put in place the Elimu Nisasa Initiative that provides full scholarship to students at the national schools and universities throughout the country, as well as county and extra county schools. Honorable Chief Guest, the fund has achieved tremendous progress over the years. A total of 5,220 students have so far received full scholarship for their secondary school education in national, thank you, in national schools and out of the 5,220, 2,038 students are girls. In relation to university education, we have a total of 3,286 students that have also benefited on the program, out of which 1,200, again, are girls. The fund also provides bursary to a total of 30,179 students in county and extra county schools. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I also wish to recognize the efforts by Plan International in advancing the rights of children and especially the girl child. Honorable uh, Kwale County, sorry, Kwale County has had a very good working relationship with Plan International and all other CSOs and NGOs that um, are both within the county and outside the county. We are always very open to partnerships and stakeholders that will reach out to us in relations to issues of development within the county. The other day, Honorable CS, you visited Kwale County together with Madam Kate, and we were able to launch the Child Protection Unit. And we have continued working very closely with Plan International in other major pillars that are stated in your uh, strategic plan, uh, mainly being sexual and reproductive health, gender-based violence against girls, and young women. And so as a county, we have been able to put many other interventions in place to ensure that we address the same. I also wish to note that Kwale is among the counties that face the challenges brought about by COVID-19 pandemic. And we wish to thank Plan International 
for the assistance and support that they accorded us during this period. They have gone a very long way in assisting the county manage the pandemic. With this new strategic plan in place, I have no doubt that Plan International will continue to greatly achieve all that it has aspired to as an institution and organization. Our chief guest and colleagues from Plan International, I wish to affirm and make assurance of our commitment in working closely with Plan International and all other stakeholders that advocate for the protection of children and especially girls. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to end by congratulating Plan International on the launch of their strategic plan 2021-2026 and wishing them the very best as they implement the same. Ending teenage pregnancy and, form, and all forms of violence against girls and young women. Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you. I invite all men, both here and at home, uh, to use their male dominance to advance e equality and equity for all because there is power in fighting this together. Let us become the Abatangamucho in Burundi who stand up against all forms of violence against women. My desire now is to see a new generation of young people who want change now and who are willing to do what it takes to make change happen. The launch of this strategy is not, is not only a wonderful beginning, but also a continuation of tremendous work that Plan International is doing. The strategy will restore hope to many people like me and other people in my community. And I hope that everyone out there with a dream will see it come to pass and that no one will be limited because of their gender, age, or ability. I welcome you all to see the light, to join the movement now, today, and those watching from at home, Vijana, my youth, Naambia Jo, Riang Nikustand Farm. Riang Nikustand Farm, Nakusema, Manze Historia, Kubagua Madem, Inafa, Yishe. Kila mtu akuwe na opportunity ya ku dream, na achieve dreams zake. Riang ni Kustand Farm. Sema tena. Riang ni kustand farm. Thank you all. I'm so honored to be here. On behalf of Plan International Kenya, I take great pleasure in welcoming you all to this official launch of our five-year strategic plan covering 2020, 2021 to 2026. The strategic plan that we are launching today is the blueprint around which Plan International Kenya will partner with young people, government, like-minded stakeholders to address the unique needs of a specific subset of children and young people, a subset of whom are undoubtedly facing a myriad of injustices and are marginalized. Since 1982, Plan International Kenya has recorded remarkable achievements, making it distinguishable as a thought leader and a leading organization on issues pertaining to child protection, education, and on girls' agency through girls led advocacy and is considered by many a trusted partner, not just in Kenya, but around the globe. We are committed to our global purpose to advance children's rights and equality for girls. Our development programs over the years in Kenya have cut across several sectors, including but not limited to early childhood care and development, education, protection, health and HIV AIDS, resilience building, and youth employability and entrepreneurship. This is a very important day for us as we reflect on the gains we have made in our last strategy that just concluded in June this year. The journey was fraught with challenges, lessons learned, and we made great progress too and recorded some notable achievements that we're very proud of. We also reflected on who we were as an organization, our strengths and our capacities, 
and we drove purposeful wide-ranging transformations as an organization to ensure readiness for this new strategy that we are launching today. We adapted and we innovated. Indeed, COVID-19 showed us how to innovate for those we seek to serve. Through strategic and tactical partnerships with you all who are gathered here today and others beyond, we reached over 6 million children, both boys and girls, through various direct interventions and were notably applauded by, applauded by the Kenya NGO Board and our government for our specific contributions to children as a result of our work in the early childhood care and development and education sector and in child protection. The strategy outlines a vision for the future and the strategic goals that define how we will be successful for children and in an ever challenging and changing environment and reaffirms our commitment as Plan International to advancing children's rights and equality for girls while recognizing that girls, as I mentioned, are disproportionately affected. Our ambition is to reach 2.75 million children and young people by 2026 with direct programming and as in addition, our influencing efforts that will focus on sexual reproductive health and rights, protection from all forms of violence, disaster risk mitigation and climate change, and climate adaptation, as well as youth employability and entrepreneurship. These are the four strategic choices we have made. Key to delivering transformational and lasting change for girls and young women will be mobilizing to change harmful beliefs and norms that drive root causes of gender inequality supporting and growing the agency of girls in advocating for their own rights, calling out injustices, holding duty pairs to account, and calling, talking truth to power. Thirdly, we will also be growing our value-based alliances and partnerships as a core component of Plan International's program and influencing efforts. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at a critical point in Kenya, and it is time to make bold moves. I am ambitious for Plan International Kenya. The Plan International Kenya team is ambitious for the Kenyan children and youth, and particularly for our girls and young women. We can and will build on the great work and achievements from our past work in Kenya and the results we have achieved from our last country strategy to ensure we deepen our reach and our impact by consolidating the gains we have made. In addition, we know that we can only achieve this bold ambition of ending teenage pregnancies and all forms of gender-based violence against girls and young women through partnerships. Partnerships with children themselves, both boys and girls, partnerships with youth, partnerships with the communities we work in, partnerships with the private sector, with government and civil society stakeholders. With these partnerships, the goal we aspire to will become a reality translating into milestones of which we can all be proud of. I invite you all to join hands with us as we strive for lasting change. There is no better time than now to reaffirm our commitment to the Kenyan children, especially to the girls and young women and the communities we serve, and to supporting the Kenya government to build back better for all, enabling children and youth, especially girls and young women, to play a leading role where they can be equally seen heard and valued. Plan International will play its part. We will play our role in ensuring that the voice of children, especially girls, are heard where it matters and when it matters to them. We will play our part to fulfill the promise of the 2030 Global Goals. There are a hundred million reasons why we want to do this. On my behalf, and the behalf, uh, on behalf of the entire Plan International Kenya team that I'm so proud to lead, we commit to actively implement this strategic plan. Please join hands with us. Thank you very much. It is our men who should say they will not marry circumcised women. It would really help. And they should say the goodness of uncircumcised women. <laughs> If all our men said they will marry uncircumcised women, 
FGM will end. But if women believe that they have to be circumcised to get married, then women will continue being circumcised. It's been very sad to watch women who escaped circumcision go back home after university to get circumcised for them to get married. I think that our men must confirm that they will marry women who are not circumcised so that women can stop getting circumcised. We are supporting and working with, poly, with the plan on polycare program, a very good government program on SGBV led by the police. We would urge that that particular program continues on and that we have the fight against SGBV and the crimes that are related to SGBV as well. We indeed look forward to working with Plan International for the next five years. My only lesson having been in, in, in this country and a leader for a long time is also the Kenyan story. We are very good at writing country strategies. That has never been our problem. Our problem is implementation. We write good laws, we write good plans. Then we don't implement them. So I'm hoping that you don't become Kenyan on this one, that you become like the UK. The UK <laughs> wrote a good teenage pregnancy strategy, which they implemented, and we are hoping that with our minister here, we could also write our country national strategy on eradicating teenage pregnancies. But today, I hope that plan implements its plan. Thank you very much. A plan international has been working with communities in our country for over 35 years, supporting orphans and vulnerable children, uh, the youth and marginalized communities. We are delighted uh, to, have, uh, to be here today to witness the launch of the new five-year country strategic plan that will guide your organization in accomplishing your goals. Children make up almost a half of Kenyan's uh, population. And as a country, we have always uh, strived to ensure that we have laws, uh, policies, institutions that speak to the whole needs of our children. Our constitution, which is rated as one of the most uh, progressive constitution in Africa, recognize all international and regional roles that Kenya assign as a direct source of law. Further, section 53 of the constitution outlined the right of all children in Kenya and emphasize on consideration of best interests of the child in every matter concerning them. The government of Kenya recognize the importance of children in the society and embrace values that cherish our holistic uh, child rights based on approach. As demonstrated through development of various policies and legal framework and programs meant to safeguard the rights and welfare of our children in our country, another uh, vulnerable person. Child protection is not only the responsibility of the government. Non-governmental organizations, therefore, have a critical role to play, too, in the child welfare and protection. Across the globe, NGOs have been working to uplift children, more, pro more particularly underprivileged children who live in, ex in exceptional, difficult uh, situation. In, in Kenya, NGOs have contributed to the, to the development of communities in our country and are therefore important partners uh, to our government. We appreciate all the efforts you put in, in support our programs and complementing government efforts to supporting poor and vulnerable members of, so, of our society. I'm delighted to join you all for the launch of Plan International of Kenya Country Strategic Plan 2021-2026. I trust you are all keeping safe and try to cope with the COVID-19 pandemic, which has taken the world by storm and completely changed our way of life. I note that Plan International is implementing a new and ambitious five-year country strategy, whose strategic goal is ending teenage pregnancies and all forms of violence against adolescent girls and young women in Kenya. Every successful organization leader must determine their vision 
for the future, as well as identify goals and objectives on, of the organization they lead. By having such strategic plan, an organization operates with sense of directions by at outlining measurable goals. However, for the overall strategic plan to become a useful tool for guiding day-to-day -day decisions, evaluating progress, and devising ways of doing things better based on realistic achievement, it must be cascaded down to all employees. Many organizations these days are using the McKinsey 7, uh, 7S framework as a tool to analyze their organizational design. This framework looks at seven key internal elements of strategy, structure, systems, shared values, style, staff, and skills in order to identify if they are effectively aligned to achieve the overall organization objectives. I'm sure Plan International Kenya has done a deep dive at these seven elements in developing the strategic plan we are launching today. Ladies and gentlemen, over the last 39 years, Plan International Kenya has supplemented our government efforts in mitigating many challenges affecting the girls in our country, our young women in particular, and by extension to the larger Kenyan community. Through this new Plan International Kenya Country Strategy 2021-2026, we see your commitment to continue supporting our government efforts. I note that Plan International Kenya Country Strategy Plan is aligned to global agenda, such as 2030 global goals. I'm all, I also note that strategy has identified four strategic pillars, sexual reproductive health and rights, where your aim is to contribute to improve the access and utilization of sexual and reproductive health rights and services and information to reduce teenage pregnancy and harmful practices in Kenya. Your second strategic plan is prevention and response to all forms of gender-based violence and discrimination against girls and young women, where your goal is to ensure that every child and girl's rights, protection and mechanism at all levels are functional and responsive. Your third strategic pillar is protecting girls and young women in crisis community led climate change adaptation, where your goal is to contribute to minimal, minimized impact of disasters on girls, young women, families, and communities. While your fourth pillar is youth-led and innovative partnership solutions to job creation, where your goal is to contribute to building stronger ecosystem of youth employment and entrepreneurship, and locking the potential of young people especially vulnerable young women, while seeking employment or as job creators. These are very well thought out strategic pillars, which when implemented will lead to overall improvement in the quality of life in our country. And I want to give you assurance on behalf of the government of Kenya and the, specifically the ministry, the Department of Social Protection. We will work with you hand in hand every step of the way to ensure that all our children are safe and secure. Thank you and God bless you. Once again, we're going to have this very symbolic moment, if we can get... There we have it, and so we're going to have of course, Honorable Simon Chalugui, joined by Kate Minervoli, Country Director, Plan International. As mentioned, there are four strategic pillars for this country's strategy, and we're going to have a few sets of people each plugging one onto that, I guess you could say, jigsaw puzzle, um, sort of like in a symbolic moment, because they all tie in together for maximum impact. And so we can give them a round of applause. <laughs> we would like we're still going to have more confetti coming because there are going to be
photo ops. Allow us to take a few uh, pictures quickly because there will be an opportunity to do the photo ops in just a few moments. May I invite you please to take your seats. At some point, we will invite you back to just do a group photo. We are now inviting the next set of individuals to put, we're still building the building blocks. We have three more. I'd now like to invite Madam Sylvia Chidodo to be joined by Honorable Priscilla Nyokavi to put in the second bit of the jigsaw puzzle. So the first one there is improved access. Let's welcome them. And the second one is prevention and response. We'll have two more sets and then come back together for a group photo. There we have it. Thank you so much, ladies. You may take your seats. We'll be calling on you once again for a group photo. We now have the Deputy Development Director, British High Commissioner, Dr. Richard Ulbach, to please make his way, and he'll be joined by Dr. Mohammed Sheikh to put in the third strategic pillar of this strategy plan. You may make your way towards Hope. She'll guide you. Another round of applause. Thank you. And last but not least, Rehema and Calvin. We have the honor of inviting you back <laughs> to put in the final bit of the jigsaw puzzle. It all actually comes together with Rehema and Calvin. This is about them. So it's symbolic that they're kind of piecing it all together at the very end there. So go towards Hope and she'll guide you on what to do. And I'd now like to invite all of our chief guests to the front here for a photo op, please. And that is, of course, everyone who was able to piece this together. We have His, uh, His Excellency Honorable Simon Chalibui, we have Kate Mine of Holy, we have Dr. Richard Alba, Dr. Sheikh Ahmed, and of course, our lovely youth over here. We'll allow the media a few photo ops before we go to the vote of thanks and the next agenda. Understanding. Gentlemen, it's officially launched. Thank you, thank you. Just a few more minutes for the press, ladies and gentlemen. Just a few more minutes until they're happy. Plan International Kenya has been operating in Kenya since 1982 and over time has curved out a niche for itself in delivering long-term development and relief programs focused on the well-being of children and marginalized communities in 20 of the 47 counties of Kenya. Currently, Plan International has operations in 10 counties in Kenya. Plan International Kenya is now embarking on a bold new ambitious country strategy aligned to sustainable development goals and other global priorities. The goal of the new strategy is ending teenage pregnancies and all forms of violence against girls and young women. The new strategy is anchored on four pillars which are sexual and reproductive health and rights, 
prevention and response to all forms of gender-based violence and discrimination against girls and young women, protecting girls and young women in crisis and community-led climate change and adaptation, and youth-led and innovative multi-sectoral solutions on job creation. Under the Sexual and Reproductive Health and Rights, Plan International Kenya will contribute to the improved access and utilization of SRHR services and information that will help in the reduction of teenage pregnancies and harmful practices that girls face. Under prevention and response to all forms of gender-based violence and discrimination against girls and young women, Plan International Kenya will ensure that children and girls' rights protection mechanisms at all levels are functional and responsive in preventing and responding to all forms of violence and abuse against children and girls, both physically and on digital platforms. Under protecting girls and young women in crisis and community-led climate change adaptation, Plan International Kenya will work towards minimizing the impact of disasters on girls, young women, families and communities through emergency response and resilience building. Under the Youth-Led and Innovative Partnership Solutions on Job Creation, Plan International Kenya will be a builder of innovative multi-sectoral, high-value and equal partnerships that will contribute towards building a stronger ecosystem for youth employment and entrepreneurship while unlocking the potential of young people, especially vulnerable young women. Our ambition in the next five years is to reach 2,750,000 children and young people with a primary focus on girls so they can learn, lead, decide and thrive by the year 2026. We will achieve this through community-based engagements, promoting positive attitudes, behaviours and practices towards adolescent girls and young women, Promoting social campaigns that increase the agency of adolescent girls and young women. Partnerships with UN agencies, donor bodies, private organizations, community-based organizations, civil societies organizations, national and county governments. Influencing power holders. Continuous involvement of boys and men as allies and partners in gender equality and leveraging ICT for development and learning and knowledge management. Plan International Kenya is well placed to ensure that adolescent girls, young women and youth are empowered to make informed choices on their sexuality, to break gender barriers, to access equal opportunities and are protected from all forms of violence.